Okay, so we just pulled the car off the tracks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take tire temps. There's 12 measurements we wanna take. We wanna be consistent the way we always do this. So always get in a habit. So we turn on our meter here and we always start on the right front outside. We wait for the meter to stabilize. So that's 100 right front outside is 101. And we go to the middle. Stabilizes at 108. And the inside, 107. Now we go to the right rear. Again, we start on the outside, 99. Inside, 109. And finally the inside. gets us about 112. Now we're at the left rear outside. 104. Middle. 99. And in inside. About 95. And now we're at the left front outside. This is 100. Middle, 98, and inside, 96. And then finally, we go back to the original tire on the outside, and it's 100. And we started off with 101, so it's dropped about one degrees in the matter span that we went around. So we can be confident the rest of these uh, measurements are pretty accurate. All right, so what I got is I got a clipboard here and I got a sheet that's divided into quadrants which represent the right front, the rear, rear, left rear, and left front. And in order to keep this uh, consistent, you've got to practice this. It takes a little bit of time. So I usually start on the right front, outside, middle, inside, go to the back, which is the right rear, outside, middle, inside. Hop over to the other side, which is the left rear, outside, middle, inside, and then top it off with the outside, middle, inside of the left front. And then one last chance, I go back to the right front outside, and I check that number, and I check it against what I originally started off with. Um, what we did is I was at 101 when I started, and when I finished, I think I was at 100. So there was about a one degree cool off between the whole cycling. That way you kind of get an idea of what everything is doing, you know. Uh, on colder days, you might have four or five degree cool off. So it gives you uh, a better idea of how to gauge these numbers, how to use these to your advantage. And if you look down here, this right rear, you can see had the biggest discrepancy. Um, we had 99 on the outside and 112 on the inside, which is way too much. What's going on is it's got too much negative camber. So we gotta pull some of the negative camber out to even these numbers out. Uh, what you want is like this left front here. This left front is really beautiful. We got only about a four degree uh, change. So I'm gonna leave that alone. You could fiddle with it, try to get them a lot closer, but that's, that's pretty darn good. Go ahead.